Hey everybody, I'm back with um, Hatchimals Collectibles Jewelry Box Dozen number two. Um, if you guys remember it all or took a look at it, I did open one up before on this channel. Um, I got that one from Amazon and I finally found them in stores the other day, so I'm pretty excited to open up my second one. Hopefully, <laughs> we have different exclusives in this one that we had in the in the first one, but here's our checklist, kind of hiding out in this plastic, so I'll be right back, I'm going to remove the plastic. I know we've looked at it before, but we're going to take another look at the checklist one more time. Uh, we have the Royals, which are all commons. We have the Royal Treasures, which are also all commons. Um, we have the Mermals, which are considered rares. And we have the princesses, which are considered ultra rares, the princess pairs. And then we have the glitter salon, which is our ultra rare, wait, which is our limited edition in this series. Down here, it's showing us the jewelry box dozen exclusives, which um, we will have a couple of those today just to look, take a look at. And then on the back of this one, because there's different backs, it's advertising for season 6.5, which is going to be the Royal Snowball. It's coming soon, so we're pretty excited for that. And then it does give you a sneak peek as to what the Royal Snowball um, Ultra Rares are going to be. And they're going to be the Snowflake Squad. If you remember correctly, the last one I opened, um, the last dozen box I opened, I think it accidentally had a Snowball Squad in it. And it was the Quality one, and I was excited for that. But anyway, there's also something called the Mega Secret Surprise, which is going to have these guys exclusive to it, or one of these, or I'm not really sure. Anyhow, let's go ahead and open up what we have. So let's see here. Same box. So um, we got the dark dark pink top and the light pink bottom. And then it says Hatchable Collectibles in the front as usual. So this time around we have the light green translucent pandor, mer pandor. If I can get this out. Now with these, uh, with the Pandors, um, the crown is actually part of the molding itself, so it's not removable, which I think is pretty cool. And they do have their, um, let's see if I can get this to show up here. <laughs> there we go. We do have the um, signature eye tattoo that they all seem to come with in this series. Um, our cool sparkly common wings. And yeah, these are translucent, so you can see right through that one, and it's a, um, I guess a sea green. And then the tail and chest are both trans, um, are both pearlescent magenta. And then we have the blue over here, like a teal blue, with the metallic gold for the tail. Oh, is it there's sparkles on that too? Let's see here. So it seems as if the the um Silver sparkles from the wings kind of drip down onto the... So it's a little bit of a flaw. It they, The paint dripped down onto the tail, so the tail in the back has a little bit of sparkle, which I actually don't find as a flaw. It actually is pretty cool. So this one's winking, also with the eye tattoo in white. And we have a magenta crown. So that one's cool. So that's two more exclusives to add to our collection here. Where do we start? Ooh, guys, we got two limited editions, I think. No, these are these are mermals, I think. The mermals are in these ones. Phew. All right, this is our limited edition. So we, should we go ahead and open it first? I think we should because it's right in front of us. So the limited editions come in this really cool. These are all they're all sparkly, by the way. So get ready to make a mess. Um, come in these very cool. Um, blue sparkly eggs, and then you just rub them. You rub them, rub them, rub them until the heart turns pink, which I'm having a good a good time with these ones. They actually do rub for me. <laughs> and oh, and by the way, the the heart that you rub has that little crown on it. If I didn't say that in the last video, well, if I did, that's fine. I'm saying it in this one for the first time. So it looks like our little guy is ready to hatch. So let's see what we got here. Blaze is gonna go nuts in a second, so I apologize ahead of time. Okay. Ooh, it looks like is this a kit? Is this kitty can? I think this is kitty can. Uh, let's get all of our stuff out. I think we have an hair extension that we're supposed to have, too. 
I, I don't know. Oh, well, here's a brush. Yep, here's our brush. Our brush is a metallic um, salmon, I guess. And we have magenta hair with a pearlescent gold crown. And that's got a little peg in it that's going to pop onto her head. Um, our kitty is pearlescent purple. I think it's a kitty. It's not, it's not kitty can. I thought it was kitty can, but it's Salon Faro. So that makes sense. <laughs> I thought kitty was looking pretty long. And it looks like that the Pharaoh's wearing like this cool, almost wintry type gown with a little bit of um, fur fluff around the neck and then a yellow dress. So I think they're all girls in this. Um, no, you know what? They're, I fig figured it out. They're all girls in the Salon series except for Jero. Jero's the boy because he's wearing a cloak. So um, we're going to go ahead and put her hair on and we'll show you what she looks like with her hair on there. So a couple of cute things to note. We can brush her hair ever so slightly. There's a blaze face. Hi, blaze. And then her, their, her head does move back and forth. So we have movement. We have articulation for the first time in this series with our, with our Hatchimals. Um, well, no, not really. I mean, we had, uh, we have bobble. We had the bobble heads for the twins already, but uh, this is actual articulation. So. It's pretty exciting. It's an exciting new uh, new change. And they are wearing clothes, molded on clothes. That's new too. Okay, um, so our next one we're moving towards is going to be a pink egg. And this pink egg, I think, is only for this is gonna be for our it's gonna be a common. And it's going to go it's going to be a actual royal. So we'll see who we got here. The pink eggs are pretty cool in design too. This is back for more. This one's really big. Look at this bee. Oh. Oh, wow. I don't know what this is, but it's big. Oh, okay. So, I think this is... Pinguala? Yep, this is Pinguala. And Pinguala's got a crown. So it's a translucent version of Pinguala. You're going to get translucent ones and I think like um, neon colored ones. I can't remember. Um, I forget already. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and put our crown on. It just pops right into their head like that. It should. There we go. So she, yeah, she's pearlescent purple. And then she also has, um, her face is painted pink, and her nose is painted yellow, and then she has the white tattoo on her face. All the tattoos are different, by the way. I think she might be articulated, too. Yeah, she's articulated, too. Are they all articulated? I only thought that it was just, um, the mermel ones. I think they're all articulated, guys. This is a really good step here. Hmm. Yeah, Blaze did a drive-by. Okay, let's go on with the magenta egg. And the magenta egg is... Ooh! So these are... Um, let's see... Are these the royal pears? We have two of these? Cool! Alright, so the royal pears are basically um, small like the... Um, like the twins were, they have bobbleheads. Oh wow, this is really going good. All right. Oh, this is really hard too. Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. So it looks like we have duckles, guys. We have Princess Duckles, and this, and obviously she's gonna have. Obviously, she's going to have um, the ultra-rare wings, and she's got the bobblehead. And she has a built-in crown that it's gold. And then she also has her tattoo on her eye, like they all seem to do. So she is a light pink, and then she is a dark pink. And they both have... Well, she has blue eyes, like a light blue, almost... Dare I say, almost... Um, 
turquoise. But this one's got closed eyes, so I don't know what color they are. I'm going to assume they're the same color. Maybe not. But uh, one, did they both have the same color gold crown? Yeah. So that was pretty cool. I like when we get those, because it makes me feel like I get double my double the money. So, let's see here. Will they fit in with... Oh, pet peeve of mine. I don't understand the, the fact that those eggs have little divots in the bottom of them. It makes them hard for nests. But anyway, anyhow, let's see here. So what do you think, guys? Let's go for another one here. Let's go for, let's go for a mermel this time. Let's skip those over instead of just going. Okay, these ones are going to be the hardest ones to rub. We do have a blaze in the background, so I do apologize. Blaze loves to be a part of this. She likes little collectibles. But it's these that she's going after. Okay. Ooh. That's so many big guys. Okay, we have Mer, um, Princess Mer Puppet. And Princess, this is, per, is there only one per? No, there's two. Okay, so this is the blue version. And it looks like she's sticking her tongue out, guys. So, um, she's got a pink painted tongue. And, um, her nose itself looks like it's, there we go. Her nose, her nose is like her beak nose or whatever is painted yellow, and she's got blue eyes. They're kind of wonky. She also has the eye tattoo, which almost looks like a peacock type, but that's cool. And then her um, wings are the the rare color, royal rare, <laughs> and um, she has a metallic dark blue fin. Pretty cool. Let's go for another common here, guys. <sighs> this is so much fun. I am so excited for these new ones. Who would have known they would have been able to come up with something more, even better than before? This is how it's supposed to happen, guys. This is how the magic is supposed to happen. You don't downgrade like some companies do. You always go up. Up with your quality. Up with your designs keep the consumer interested oh who do we got here is this butterpuff i think we have royal butterpuff yes we have royal butterpuff in a solid color so it looks like we are yellow with with a pink beak and a pink chest and then we have the common wings but his, her wings are the butterfly type design and I think it's a he because we have this type of crown here, which is more boyish, I think. I could be wrong. I don't know much about my royal dynasty or whatever stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going with this as a boy. Oh, yeah, so here he is in his crown. Pretty cool. Let's go with another... Oh, is this Royal Treasures? No. Because we didn't get a Royal. This is... Hmm. I think this is supposed to be Royal Treasures. But I thought we opened up one of these already. Oh, I think this might be... No, this is the... This is the Royal Mermals. I'm so confused. Alright. Uh, no, it's not. Um, guys? I, I got another, I got another one from the Snowflake Squad. Is this purposely done? Because I, oh my god, it's Elegoo. And he's the cutest thing ever, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for him. Look how cute he is. Oh man, oh man, guys. Oh man, Blaze, Blaze, I know you're looking for this, right? Go, for, go get it. Okay, so he's flocked all the way around his hoodie and his snowsuit. I can't get this to focus, I'm too excited here. Focus! Okay. Okay. 
and uh, he has his green face and he's squinting his eyes. You can see the tattoo around his eyes, which is it almost looks like a snowball on this one. And then he's got um, the limited edition wings. Oh my gosh, how did I look out? How did I look out again with one that's supposed to be from another series? I wonder if this is just a glimpse. Maybe because you're paying more for the the big boxes, they're giving you a little bit of a you know a little bit of a taste of what the snowball. The Royal Snowballs are all about. I don't know, but I have two now. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, okay, let's let's move on because I, um, I can't. Okay, so let's go with another regular here. I can't even believe that. I got two limited editions in one. And I got an ultra rare. Okay. Are you waiting for that, uh, that clear part, please? You're not very helpful. I have to say that much. You're not helpful. You're basically making my trash more all over the place. Ooh, who do we got here? All right. We have Royal Lamalu. This is our first appearance here. I'm pr I was pretty excited about him. He's definitely a boy. Um, this is a blue version of him. Uh, where's his crown? Okay. There he is. Okay. So there's his crown. I think he's a boy because he's wearing this cute little cloak. He's got the armbre effects. Gosh, if I can get this focus here. And, um, yeah, he's wearing a cloak. And he goes from light blue to a darker blue. And he's laying down, so I don't know, I love, I love his stance and he's smiling. So we're going to go ahead and... Hmm. We're going to go ahead and put his crown on. So here he is with his crown on. So cute. I can't, uh, oh, I love that one. All right. But I was a huge fan of Llama Lou from the beginning. I think he was in season two was, the, was, was his introduction. So let's go with another regular one now. Okay, these hurt your fingers a little bit, but they do work. I was peeking through. It looks oh, it looks metallic-y. Hmm. Um. Um. Okay, this was supposed to be a regular one. Oh, uh, you guys aren't really regulating what's coming in the. Um. Hmm. All right, so. I'm really confused. It looks like I got a... This is Hip Hatch. I think he's supposed to be one of from the Royal... Oh, okay. The Royal Treasures and the Royals both have the same egg. So you can get either one of them from there. And they're both, they're both considered commons. Uh, I think. Yes. Okay. I'm not confused anymore. I get it. But look at all that glitter, guys. Oh, my lord. Does it come off on my fingers? It seems to be pretty sealed on these guys. That's awesome. <gasps> He's such a cool glitter, though. Look at him. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, man. All right. And then he came with a translucent pink present that's got glitter in embedded into it, and then he also came with a little cup. I, I guess maybe, you know, with him being a hippo, part hippo, he gets a little thirsty when he's on land. But uh, that's pretty cool, so we're going to go ahead and put him back, and we're going to go to our next one. Let's go on to our Royal Mermals. See who we get this time. What did we, who did we get last one we got? Um... Mer Mer Puppet. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a smaller one. It looks like is this kitty oh it's Mer Lynx. Guys. Okay, the magical Lynx has turned to mermaid. So we it's in a per transparent purple. We got the tattoo on the eyes. We're we're squinting, so we're laughing. A lot of squinters in this series. <laughs> At least I'm just ending up with them. Translucent. Purple. 
with the eye tattoo and we have the ultra rare is it ultra no the rare the rare wings with a metallic tail done in teal and of course head can move so i'm gonna go ahead and put this one's crown on so far it's seeming to be a trend that the mermel that the royal mermels all have silver crowns i don't know what that's all about but they're royals but they're not necessarily princesses or princes so maybe that's maybe that's the, maybe it's a color code i don't know but we're gonna open up our last um common one here so this is gonna either be um a royal or a royal treasure Well, this one's really hard. That's a big one. Okay, it looks like we have... Um, Royal... Yep, Rural Unic Unikeet. I think we may or may not have this one already, but I'm not sure. But she's pretty cool. Um, she's got the ombre effect where she goes from a light blue to a light pink. And then her hair, her hair and mane are both painted purple. And then we got a crown here for her. We also have a piece in here for Blaze. And here is Royal Unikeet and her crown. So this is everybody that we got today. Um, if I had to pick one of my favorites, it's really difficult because I really like patch in this coloration. Um, I really love the two exclusive mermals. Oh, he's 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 a love right here. I have to go with Elegoo because Elegoo was such a nice surprise. Is he articulated? Yeah, he is. Oh man, articulation breaks my brain in this. But um, let me know in the comments below uh, which one was your favorite and who you hope to get in this awesome series. Uh, that's all we have for you today. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.